Moving on from our last video, this is kind of what we have so far. You can see that your page is starting to become more and more like a website. What we want to do though is just some color considerations here, um, specifically on contrast. You can see we have our article tag here, uh, white background and also white body background. We can do uh, just some simple rules to really make this stand out and just have a lot more uh, complementary visuals to one another. So how we go about doing that is first applying a background color to the body and then we're going to cover call or call another color into the article tag. So your body should be your first rule and what we're going to do is apply a background. And I'm just going to use the color picker and I'm going to go with something subtle. Just enough to see some contrast. So I've gone with a really light gray here. Let me just go a little bit darker and add our semicolon. When we save, we'll see a slight contrast. And what we wanted to happen was exactly that. You can see that the article tag now has no, the same background because it's transparent. It doesn't actually have a background to it. So we just go down to our article tag. And if we do the same thing, background white, save. And if we preview in our browser now, you can see we have a, a nice level of contrast between the content and the background. Some things we might need to consider is, for example, we looks like we made the footer and the header about the same color. So you can always play around with these. For example, if we wanted to have uh, the header and the footer white as well. And when we preview, you can see now we have a little bit of contrast between the two. The last thing we're going to do, just to clean this up a little, is add a little spacing in the article. And then you can see kind of the color complementary um, from a visual standpoint quite nicely. So just again, going to our article, the only thing we have to do here is we have zero auto right now. Just do 10 pixels auto. And when we preview, you can see we have that separation. And I mean, that's something that you can always play around with too, if you did 50. And so you get that uh, nice division between the content as well as your footer and banner alike. But that's it really for complementary colors. You can see just adding slight difference between your background and your content can uh, easily make it become more visually pleasing.